Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tricia and I post a video every single week. So if you want to come and join the party, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to like this video at the end if you enjoyed it. I'm just chilling on my couch. I decided I would finally film my Romney haul. I got my items about a week ago and I thought I would show them to you. So this is my first time purchasing from Romney. Well, if you watched my Forever 21 haul recently, I said on that video how I had made a Romney purchase that had led to me making the Forever 21 purchase. And I said I would explain it in this video. So basically what had happened with that was I had made an order on Romney because I knew I wanted to order from them before and I needed a top specifically because I had like I was gonna do a photo shoot and I wanted to get a red top but I didn't want it to be like expensive or whatever so I just decided I would finally make my Romney haul now so I made the order and first thing was some earrings that I bought like I noticed that my order wasn't saying that it was shipped or anything so I was wondering what was going on so I called them or whatever and they said there was an earring that I bought that was um, back ordered so it hadn't left the factory yet or whatever so that delayed like the process and then after that happened I'm like okay I told them you could cancel the earrings and just send the rest of my order so I was like okay we settled that then I was still waiting and I was like why hasn't my order still not shipped yet if we took the item off so why hasn't it shipped yet I called them or I um, wrote them and I said my order still hasn't shipped yet I already like told someone that like yo my order hasn't shipped basically what she said the next time was that the order was stuck at somewhere I don't even know what is the word that's what a C I'm sure we all been through it when they like have to go through the next to the next country but anyway it was stuck there for like mad long and nobody like did anything about it or whatever apparently because it was I like it had the traffic tracking information but it wasn't moving and I was like what is going on I think they offered to just cancel the order or I said just cancel the order or something like that so the order just ended up being canceled and then we canceled the order I canceled the order basically and I told them to refund me first they told me that the refund process would take 10 to 30 days to show up again in my bank account and I was like why would it take 10 to 30 days to show back up in my bank account and they were like it's not us it's the bank so I was like whatever I was on it in them 10 to 30 days because I was not about to get gypped on my money just in case they thought I forgot but anyway I didn't even end up getting a refund for my money into my bank account. They were like, do you want it in store credit or do you want it in a refund? And I originally said that I wanted it as a refund. And then I had gotten another email asking to like say whichever one unless you've already said which one you wanted. So I was like, oh, okay, I already said what I wanted them to send it back to my bank. But in the end, I don't know what happened. I was looking in my bank, looking in my bank, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if they put it in store credit instead. And it turns out they did put it in store credit. Luckily though, I knew that I wanted to go back and make another order. So it was like no problem really. So yeah, timing for the first order was bad. It was just like a major flop. But I'm at least thankful that the communication from the company was good. Because I was like so scared that it was just going to take my money and then like ignore me. And I was like, ah, that would suck. But that didn't happen, so just like whatever. I got my shirt from somewhere else. I got it from Forever 21, as you saw in that haul. Later, I just made a reorder. Like, honestly, that entire process, I don't even know how long it was, but it was a process. But whatever, on to this order that I got now. It took me about, I'd say, a week to come. I was pleasantly surprised that it took the amount of time that it took to get to me the second time. So I was like, okay, whatever all hard feelings lost or whatever so I did mainly order two pieces in this haul this was meant to be basically a two-piece haul but I did pick up some other pieces that I'm going to show you also if you want to see more videos like this be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and hit the bell button so you'll be notified for my next video if you like this one in total I have bought five sets I think I really aimed for all my sets to be under ten dollars to see how affordable i can go and also stay on the budget of what i had spent before so the first order i spent like 77 dollars and this one i spent 
73 i'm pretty pleased with the amount of things that i was able to buy with that amount of money like under a hundred dollars for all of this is a lot let's just start off with this two-piece it's just this like cute crop top striped halter the material of this one i actually like i feel like a lot of the materials and this haul would be more on the cheaper side but it's just so cute and honestly i feel like no one would notice unless like maybe you point it out or something but i feel like no one would notice and it doesn't matter because i feel like these are real like just throw on things like you could just like put them on like, you know how i feel about throw on pieces like i'm all about them like, some of the material for some of these but i feel like visually you just cannot tell that it's a cheaper item but if you plan on wearing it a lot a lot a lot i would say not to buy them but also you it's so cheap that you can always buy something to replace it so it's really up to you honestly i don't know i feel like i'll get my wear out of these and still like have them just sitting there but that's just me personally but it's also so affordable like you can't blame them like i feel like you are definitely paying for what you get with this it is a lot of stuff for like such a small amount and it's so cute as well but anyway that's just my opinion secondly i also got this baby blue striped two-piece um like again again with the blue i love the blue this is so so cute this one also comes with a halter top like i really really like this one as well most of the two pieces are halter tops i didn't even realize like most of them were like the same like back but i'm not complaining at all like it's summer who cares i also like the material on this one i think i also can wear this one on a hot day compared to some of the items that are here that i wouldn't wear on a hot day because of the material that they are but this one's a pretty decent material and i think this would last you for a minute as well so this one's a little bit wider in the boob area but up here like this part right here i feel like you will have some trouble there because i have some trouble there and i don't have big boobs at all so i really like the halter back even though like i feel like i overwhelm myself with halter backs because like most of them are halter backs the next one i got is a yellow one it's kind of like this aztec stripey ish print like i'm so about prints this summer my favorite part of this one is the neckline i feel like this is so like little french girl -y with this neckline uh, maybe it's because it's kind of like a turtleneck ish thing but this is also a halter back so you just like tie it back here and you tie this part as well i think this this one also has the same issue with the boob area as the one i just showed you the striped blue one like when i tried it on i was iffy but i just i do think it's really cute but my favorite part is the neckline like that neckline is so cute to me the color is also really, really nice. And all the items that I buy is in a size small for like the try-on portions if anyone wants to know. The next two pieces that I got is this pretty baby pink one here. And it comes with like a fake drawstring-ish thing. And like you could like tie in a bow. And it genuinely looks like a drawstring. They might as well have just put one in because it even has like the elastic that you probably can't even see. But it's just this floral print baby pink two piece and it has like frills on the bottom and also the waistline and as well as the hem hem of the shirt and i really like this one i really like the color of it i really like the frilliness at the bottom this is also a halter top one but this is one of my favorites the shorts on this one also fit longer than the shorts on the other two so I also like that because I feel like those shorts are actually really short but I'm aware of them anyway because I'm young and I'm wild and I'm free. So <laughs> this two piece set is just like this plain white and it also has like a frilly lining at the bottom of the shorts and also on the hem of the shirt. Like, I just think these are so cute. I feel like this outfit is going to look so cute with these silver boots that I bought. If you haven't seen on my Instagram, I have, like, a picture. If I can, I'll put it right here. So I actually did put the outfit in this haul, so maybe I'll show you at the end of the video. The top is so cute. I am in love with the top. I think this is my favorite top of all of them. I feel like I got a lot of halter tops, and I feel like it looks like I did it on purpose, but I did not realize I got as much halters as I did. But this isn't a halter top. This is just like a really cute like tube top thing, and it has like this like scrunchy part here, accordion type thing, and I really, really, really like that. And I also like that the they have like this lacing at the front. This does come out, so I just want to say be careful to so all those girlies out there that are around their like rowdy friends or whatever clumsy 
because but i don't think they will come untied if you do it right but you know i don't know like honestly you could wear it this way and have the tie at the bottom or you could like have the tie up at the top like how i did in the try on i'm honestly gonna wear them either way i put it on that day i'll even wear it backwards that is a good idea <laughs> Yo, honestly you can even wear this top backwards and like have this detailing in the back and i think that would be so 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 cute and i'm most definitely gonna do that because now that i thought of it there there's a tag in the back like a really small one but there's no tag really telling you which way is the back front or sideways whatever so it's really up to you and i think that's really cool because you can make up anything any little outfit out of one outfit you know like you could really just customize this top the way you want it to to fit whatever outfit you're wearing because you know sometimes your outfit is too much and this would probably be add too much detail so you could just throw it in the back and then you have like a regular top in the front and a cute little detailing in the back and that's mad cute y'all so now i'm on to the single pieces so i got these pair of pants they're just like cool coolettes Coolettes, I think they're called. Or they're like those wide leg, the three quarter pants, and they just have like vertical lines throughout the pants, and then just like these horizontal lines at the bottom. Hopefully, I said that right. I think I did. And it's also high waisted, which is great because I love high waisted pants. One thing though, around my waist, this continuously folds, and the material of these pants are extremely cheap extremely cheap but I, like i said i don't think anyone would notice like at all but i don't know how many wears you would get out of this before they rip or something but i mean like that's just my judgment based off of the material and how i depict it evaluated it i don't know because when i be putting it on i'd be feeling like if i don't be careful it might just rip into you know but i feel like they're loose enough that i won't end up ripping my pants or something but just to be safe oh sorry if i have like red on my fingertips i was eating pepper shrimp jamaican things jamaican things it's just like food coloring so i can't really wash it off easily i already tried i just love these so much i've already worn them twice because they're just great i just love the way they look for what the material is they look fantastic just just that just said and done and also it has a zipper at the side that you can zip up i'm actually really impressed with the zipper because the way the material feel felt I was like, oh man, I can tell this, this zipper is going to like keep on going down. But the zipper stays intact. Once I zip it up, it stays where it is. I don't have any issues with it at all. You're honestly getting what you paid for. These were less than $10. Like, that's pretty crazy for pants. But they're mad cute. And I'm going to be wearing these a whole lot, as much as I can, until they disintegrate, to be honest. The next thing is this snakeskin crop top. I saw this in my first order and I was like, I have to get this because a couple of months ago I seen these snakeskin boots on Public Desire and they were just so, so, so cute. And ever since I saw those boots, I've been obsessed with snakeskin and I just think this is so freaking cute. I'm so obsessed with bandos. This one is not for girls with bigger boobs because this barely covers my boobs like if i wear this i have to show under boob or i have to wear it really low which is okay for me because i got the small boobs you know it doesn't really matter i'm not popping out at the top it's really popping out at the bottom that i'd be worried about and i'm like mm, i don't know how much places i can wear this to i can't go and eat wear too rowdy with this one on because i might just have an accident but um otherwise i think this is super duper cute and i'm like I'm like in love with this one like this is gonna be my favorite like I could tell already I'm like it's bandos I wear them like almost every other day practically if I'm not wearing a crop top I'm in a bando and the fact that this is snakeskin like just adds all the more oomph because I don't have any printed bando tops so this is gonna be my jam for the summer I can already tell so yeah there's that and the material is really good it's just like a regular bando top to be honest but it's just like really they were like frugal on the fabric if that's the word that i'm looking for i don't know i like try these on with the pants i just showed you guys and that entire outfit with some sunglasses with my little like 90s shades are like going to be a fit on its own like i'm so ready give you a whole outfit for less than 20 dollars stunting <laughs> 
<laughs> I really like this crap top though and like I said it's gonna be my favorite oh my god my neighbor starts with the music at least the video is almost over this was the last piece that I took up and I just had to get it because of this really little thing this is just so cute and so um what's the movie the movie with the lawyer chick you'll see like me do the whole like little and snap thing because I just that's literally how I felt when I put this on like just one of those really preppy like blondes from the movie but you know a black version <laughs> of course this this is actually from Shein but I guess like those two brands are really similar and I feel like a, a lot of the pieces they have are similar but Romney is just cheaper but I think if you guys want me to do a Shein haul leave a comment down below and I most definitely will because I think I want to buy some items from there anyway so yeah I'm just like lounging on my couch like hey guys what's up like forget a, um forget a proper video whatever anyway we're just chill vibes here and the fetters don't shed it as well so that was another thing that i remember checking for because that's what i thought it would happen since it's so cheap but the feathers do not shed as far as i can tell so far so that's a good thing and it's also a crop top but did I even need to tell you that, guys? Because, obviously, I don't, who wears full-length tops anymore? Not me. Guys, I hope you guys liked that quick little haul of mine. If you liked it, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And leave me a comment down below what your favorite piece is, if you've ordered from Romri, and what your experience was. And be sure to share this video with your friends. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.